some important questions based on hybridization. Solving this problem, this point should be in your minds. Okay. Our first question is type of hybrid object used by nitrogen atom in NH4 plus. Listen the question. Type of hybrid orbitals, type of hybrid orbital used by nitrogen atom in NH4 plus. See? Here central atom NH4 plus. NH4 plus. Central atom is nitrogen, right? Central atom is nitrogen. The theory was already discussed in part one. Okay? Central atom is nitrogen. Atomic number seven. Electronic configuration 2,5, right? There are 5 electrons in its valence shell. So, write 5 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, here. There are 5 electrons in its valence shell. Then, among these 5 electrons, 5 electrons, here is one positive charge. That means, nitrogen lose 1 electron. So, we can remove one electron here. Only four electrons is here. Okay? Then the, among these four electrons, all four electrons are utilized for make bond with the hydrogen. That means here all four electrons are utilized for make bond with the hydrogen. Here, there is central atom nitrogen. Around nitrogen, there are four bond pairs. If there are four bond pairs, hybridization is sp3 hybridization is sp3 if there are four pairs hybridization is sp3 so our answer is sp3 okay wait type of hybrid orbital used by nitrogen atom in nh4 plus first we have to write this we have to analyze this central atom here central atom is nitrogen the atomic number of nitrogen is 7 so, write the electronic configuration 2,5. That means here there are 5 electrons in the valence shell of nitrogen. But in NH4 plus here is a positive charge. Here is a positive charge. Positive charge means nitrogen lose one electron. Then remaining 4 electrons in its valence shell. These all 4 electrons are utilized for make bond with hydrogen because here we have 4 hydrogen atom. Just 4 hydrogen atom. Here for our 4 bond, 4 bond pairs. 4 bond pairs, total, if total number of electron pairs are 4, hybridization is sp3. Okay, clear. Okay, second question. Shape of ClF3 molecule. Shape of ClF3 molecule. Okay, shape of ClF3. ClF3 molecule, central atom here, central atom is chlorine. Atomic number 7G, 2, 8, 7, right? 2, 8, 7. Remember, here 7 electron in its valence shell, right? 7 electron. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? Among these 7 electron, 3 electrons are utilized for make bond with the fluorine. Here we have 3, three fluorine. Okay? So, 3 electrons are utilized for make bond with the fluorine. 3 bond pairs, 3 bond pair and here 1 lone pair, 1 lone pair, total 2 lone pair, 3 bond pair and 2 lone pair, 3 bond pair and 2 lone pair, total number of electrons 5, total number of electrons 5, among these 5 pair, 3 bond pair and 2 lone pair, so the shape is T shape, shape of the molecule is T shape, okay. Here, T shape. Here, the shape of ClF3 molecule is T shape because there are three bond pairs and two lone pairs. Clear? Okay, next question, third question. Type of hybrid orbital used by carbon atom in CO3 2 minus. Listen. Type of hybrid orbital used by carbon atom in CO3 2 minus molecule. CO3 2 minus molecule, central atom carbon, right? Central atom carbon, atomic number 6, electronic configuration 2, 4, right? 
Here we have four electrons in its valence shell. One, two, three, four. Remember, here we have two negative charges. So we have tried two more electrons in its valence shell. Then here we have three oxygen atom. The valence of oxygen is two. So oxygen can make two bond. One is sigma bond, another is pi bond. Sigma pi bond. Sigma pi bond. Right. Here we have three bond pairs. One, two, three. Here pi bonds are not considered as bond pairs. Pi bonds are mobile electron. Pi bonded electrons are mobile electron, so it's not considered as bond pairs. Here we have three bond pairs. One, two, three. It's not considered as bond pair, and this is also not considered as bond pair. Here we have only three bond pair. Three bond pair hybridization is sp2. So our answer is sp2. Clear? So hybrid orbital used by carbon atom in CO3 two minus molecule is sp2. Clear? Okay. Okay. Next fourth one. The compound in which carbon atom used sp3 hybrid orbital for bond formation is the compound in which carbon atom used sp3 hybrid orbital for bond formation is. First, we have find the structure of this compound. The first one is formic acid. HCO which it is formic acid. Just write the structure of formic acid. H C O O H right. Second choice is N H four twice U. N H four twice C O right. It is N H four twice C O. And third choice is an alcohol. C H three C H three C H three O H. Okay, clear. And it's aldehyde C H three C H three C H O double bond. Listen, sigma sigma sigma. Here it's sigma 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 and one pi bond. And here also one pi bond. And here sigma 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 sigma. Here sigma sigma bond sigma bond and one is pi bond. Double bond means one sigma and one pi bond. Clear. Triple is one sigma and two pi bonds. Listen. Around this carbon, we have three sigma bond and one pi bond. Pi bonds are mobile, so it's not considered as bond pair. Here, here, here we have three bond pair, three bond pair. So carbon atom is sp2 hybridized. Here also we have three sigma bond. That means here we have three sigma bond, three bond pair hybridization sp2. And here we have one, two, three, four, four bond pair hybridization is sp3. Here one, two, three, sp2. Here this one is the sp3. Around this carbon we have four bond pair, four sigma bonds. So hybridization of this compound is sp3 okay see next question fifth question okay next question the type of hybrid orbitals used by chlorine atom in clo3 minus type of hybrid orbital used by chlorine atom in clo3 minus here central atom is chlorine right central atom is chlorine chlorine is halogen family so valence shell electron 7 Right, seven electron. One, two, three, four, five, C, seven electrons. Okay. Here is one minus star. So we have right one more electron, eight electron. Oxygen is bivalent. Three oxygen. Here we have three oxygen. We know that oxygen is bivalent. So oxygen can use two electrons for make bond. And here also one more oxygen and oxygen. Here sigma bond pi bond, sigma bond pi bond, sigma bond pi bond. Pi bond is not considered as bond pair. So three bond pair, three bond pair plus 
one lone pair total number of electron pairs four pairs right four pairs one bond pair one bond pair one plus one two two plus one three three bond pair and one lone pair total number of electron pairs four so hybridization is hybridization is sp3 okay clear next question see next question okay our next question and last question in this question the hybridization of atomic orbital of nitrogen atom in no2 plus no3 minus and nh4 plus okay the hybridization of atomic orbital of nitrogen atom in no2 plus no3 minus and nh4 plus next is listen what is an no2 plus no2 plus Central atom nitrogen. You know the central atom nitrogen. Well, number of valence electron of nitrogen is five. Just five, five electrons. One, two, three, four, five. Here is one positive charge. See, one positive charge. So remove one electron. No two. Go. No two. Oxygen is bivalent. Oxygen is bivalent. So two electrons are replaced. So make bonds. So two bond pairs. Two bond pairs. Hybridization sp right and next molecule next molecule is NO2 plus NO3 minus see NO3 minus nitrogen valence electron five right five electrons one two three four five and here is one minus charge one more electron six three oxygen oxygen is bivalent oxygen is bivalent okay. Sigma, sigma, sigma. Three bond pairs. Three BP. Hybridization is P two. And next question, next part is NH four plus NH four plus four electron. One, two, three, four, five. Here is one positive charge. So remove one electron. And four hydrogen. It's monovalent. Four bond pairs. Hydrogen is monovalent. So One electron is utilized for main bond. Four bond pairs. Four bond pairs. Hybridization sp3. Right? Clear? Two bond pair sp. Three bond pair sp2. Four bond pair sp3. So sp, sp here, sp, sp2, sp3. So answer is this. Okay? Sp, sp2, sp3. Clear? Okay? Uh, okay, my dears. Hope you understand this video. In next portion, next video, we will discuss some important tricks to calculate bond order and magnetic behavior of diatomic molecules. Okay, thanks for watching.